Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Barry Beckham. The subject here is audio visual via Pictures to XE or PTE AV Studio. This is going to be a fairly short video, but its message is quite an important one, mainly for newer users of this software. You can see the four questions that I'm going to pose here and answer. What is a backup in ZIP? Why is it so important? What does a backup in ZIP actually do? And how do we create one? Now, as you can see here, we have the main screen of PTE AV Studio open, and I've got a fully completed slideshow ready to go. So let's ask the first couple of questions. What is a backup in ZIP? And why is it so important? It's a simple process you should carry out when you are finished making your presentation. It's a quick way to gather together in one folder all the content you use to make your show. The same content you're going to require to ever remake or edit that slideshow in the future. And if you think you'll never want to do this, think again because you almost certainly will. A backup in ZIP will take less than one minute of your time to create with Pictures to XE or PTE AV Studio. And you won't need any special software to unzip the folder, either on a PC or a Mac. It's also a very convenient file to back up off your computer for safety. So the next question is what in fact does a backup in ZIP actually do? Well, by the time your slideshow or presentation is complete, your project folder may contain a lot more images, video and sound files than perhaps you actually used. A backup in ZIP will extract from your project folder just the content you actually used in your show and it'll place everything into one zipped folder. It'll leave behind all the remaining content you had in your project folder, but didn't use. From this one folder, you now have access to your slideshow whenever you need it. So the next question to ask is how do we create a backup in zip? So once we've finished our slideshow, we need to go to File, Create a Backup in Zip. All I need to do here is to hit the Save button on the bottom right corner. Generally speaking, it's going to save your zipped file back into the folder you've been working from, the same folder you've been saving your project file. But take a look at what the software does. It picks up automatically the name of the slideshow, in my case, Jack Frost 2019 Edit 2, but it also applies the time and date. So even if we do create a number of backups in zip of the same slideshow, one will not overwrite the previous, and we can easily tell which one was the latest. So I'm going to click Save here, and we'll take a look at this in real time. There it is, it's done. Now the next question we may be asking is how do we unzip a zipped slideshow and load it back up into the software? It may help if I just clear this one away. So I'm gonna to go to File New. Then I'm gonna close down the software here and we're going to take a look into Windows Explorer. Let's just take a look at the file we've just created, the backup in zip. So what I've done in Windows Explorer is to navigate to the folder I was working in, the folder we generally refer to as our project folder. And as you can see there, the zip folder is there waiting for me. We can see the name, we can see the date, and you can actually see the time I'm actually recording this, or more or less. So to unzip that folder, if we just select it, right click, 
and choose Extract All, we do get the opportunity via Browse to move it to a different location, but we really don't need to. If I just click Extract, you'll notice that another folder will be made here, and it leaves the zip folder intact, which is also quite convenient, but there's the folder that it's opened. So if I double click that, everything is within that folder that I use to make my slideshow. There's the project file. If I double click that, this slideshow would be opened up into PTE AV Studio. But I want to do this with a much older show, just to show and prove the point of how powerful and useful backup in zip can be. Now as you can see here, I brought you onto my desktop and the zip folder you're looking at, I've just retrieved from an old external drive of mine. And I'd like to draw your attention to the date the backup in zip was created. December the 9th, 2007, almost nine o'clock in the evening. So here we have a slideshow made 13 years ago. I'm not entirely sure what version of Pictures to XE I was using then, but it's probably going to be version four or five maybe. But let me unzip this and we'll open it back up or reopen it into PTE AV Studio. So let's right click and extract and extract. There's the folder that's been opened. What I think I'll do is open up the project file from within PTE AV Studio. So I'm going to go to my bottom bar here, open up the software. Let me scroll to the top here and close all these up. So I'm going to go to File, Open. I'll navigate to my desktop. There's my folder. There's the project file that I used at the time. And when I click Open, there's our slideshow. The one thing we do have to do is just navigate to where the images are in the project folder. So for example, if I went to my desktop here and I opened up the folder here, then all of the content would show in the file list. But once I resaved my project file, then when we open up the software, of course, it will show us all of the images in the file list automatically. Now you can tell just how old this slideshow is purely by the size, but I think it demonstrates the backup in zip pretty well. Now using this feature, I've been able to update many of my old slideshows to full HD and then republish them as an MP4 video. The backup in zip has made this easy for me. And as you've seen, I've been using this option for many years. Remember, you can download this video and many more like it from my website. And if you're viewing on YouTube, please consider subscribing and liking my content. If you hit the notification bell, then you'll be informed whenever I post a new video. A viewer recently said to me that I deserve to have many more subscribers than I have, which was a nice compliment to make. But I can't do that without your help. I'll see you next time.